Hello everybody and welcome back to this update video. I've had quite a few update videos lately, but this one's going to just give like a brief overview of a pretty substantial change to this channel. As you can see, one of the changes is that Dwarf Fortress is going to finally, hopefully, make its way to the channel. Um, it's one of those games I have a really hard time recording. Because um, it's like, you could do like one or two videos, and then, or, t you know, you could do one video. Like, that's fine. You could do two videos. That might be fine. And then all of a sudden, your fortress ends on a third video. Is that worth bringing up? Especially the way I do it, when I could take like, you know, the fortress is barely like started out. So I think my plan is it's going to be like five to ten videos and then I will start up uploading Dwarf Fortress. I'll have like five or ten in the bank and whatever happens after that amount of time, which will be, you know, nearly five to ten hours worth of gameplay. And then I'll start releasing them and then that will give me a good buffer too of having uh, uh, recording new ones. And I could come up with like, I don't know, I could like think of designs and stuff for future things in the fort. I don't know, it's just some um, toying with next big thing for the channel. We're going on five years here pretty soon in uh, January. And I never really had like a solid thing telling me what to do. And it's kind of like... Mainly shit in life in general. It's like I have work. Basically, I kind of do things the way I want to do there. Which is kind of funny in a weird way. It's like I'm in charge of like projects and stuff. And it's like, alright, well I'm going to do this today. I'm going to do that today. I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to do that tomorrow. If they tell me where to go, they don't tell me what to do. So that makes sense. But, so basically, I decided to make a schedule. Which is absolutely terrifying for somebody like me. That is non non-committal in most things. And <clears throat> it kinda takes away a little bit of the fun of just spontaneously being like, ah, I feel like doing this, but the way I kinda all of a sudden I have a burst of like wanting to play a game, hopefully this will kinda keep me on the straight and narrow. And honestly, I should probably stop watching YouTube videos myself, because then I see like, oh, he, this person released a new video, and I'll watch that and be like, oh, now I want to play this game. So, um, as you guys know, I was playing Total War Medieval 2, and I quite enjoy that game, so that will be continuing, obviously. Um, so, I guess I'll just go through the schedule. Alright, so basically I got my notepad out. Hopefully I don't just start drawing all over it like I normally do. Um, especially if I play games that's worth writing things down. I'll flip the page, hopefully. Uh, Monday. I will be doing Total War Medieval 2. So that being tomorrow. Already got one video ready to put out. Um, I also got... Dwarf Fortress set for tomorrow, and what the plan is for me to kind of get not overburden myself with a, one particular game. I won't, I'll be limiting myself to two videos of one game at a time. And whether that be 30 minutes each video or one hour each, it has to be two videos. Like, Dwarf Fortress will probably be an hour each. Echelon book... No, I kind of jumped ahead. But, like, Echelon will be two. Total Medieval War is probably going to be an hour each. Um, it's just a... Kind of works out that way for that game. So, Monday, Total War, Dwarf Fortress. Like I said, Dwarf Fortress won't be releasing videos, but it's keeping my schedule on track for actually making them. Be like five to ten. I'll see how it goes after five. If it looks like it's going really well, maybe I'll just start releasing them after five. Which would happen actually pretty quick. It'd take one solid week 
and then the next week there would be monday would not start releasing videos if it goes that way tuesday is a free day i haven't written anything down there it's got like its own spot just in case i decide to pop something in there wednesday echelon book two same thing like i said probably 30 minute videos diablo 2 probably 30 minute videos two videos each so that's gonna be four videos on one day and this will keep me well ahead of the curve and then i could have things coming out quite frequently on the channel thursday another free day um friday will be more total war medieval 2 or dwarf fortress and that's gonna kind of um be up for me to decide what i'm gonna do on there because i don't know if um might be worth just making this like a whole different set of games like i could do silent hunter and you know something else echelon book or er, oxygen not included is another game i was playing a little bit that i started recording and maybe that would be worth putting in there but i don't want to get overburdened with too many series i want it to be like there's a lot of bigger youtubers that just like record you know just a full plethora and it's just overwhelming content coming coming out so i just want to make sure that you guys are at least getting to see something that you want quite frequently and if you came here while i'm playing dwarf fortress you might want to be honestly seeing some more dwarf fortress just realize i can't play and do everything everybody would want to see so like some old older uh, games that kind of dropped off you could let me know if you want to see them maybe i could put them into the schedule but it's like honestly the whole point of the schedule is not really the flex the schedule uh, Saturday is a float day, which is just, uh, needs to be whatever uh, it is I do on Saturday, we'll have to float between Saturday and Sunday. It'd be also a day I'd probably stream the Twitch if I do any, which could also be done on Tuesday or Thursday, which I might write down. So if you want to see me live, you can see me on twitch.tv slash Burton Mubfrigger. It's the same exact channel name. But, uh, so Saturday and Sunday would be, one of them is going to be a Twitch day with, uh, probably a feature length Dominions 5. It's just kind of like a thing if I really feel like doing a feature length, because that could be like five hours. I mean like almost five hours we've i've had long ones they've been long um and i kind of have it written down but non-committal is that I, I might finish depending on the load um i could split this up and with saturday or it'll also save me time to go visit you know relatives like go see my dad or something he lives pretty far away not super far away but far enough where it's hard to get out there and uh so it's kind of like i have to have a whole day set aside for that so it's like um that might be dominions 5 and then echelon book 2 diablo 2 or it could be just echelon book 2 diablo 2 on sunday then dominions 5 on saturday and then i don't know does that make sense i think it makes sense i'm not no one known for organizing things i just do things so this is kind of a big change for me in general. I like the looks of it. I use decent handwriting for once, instead of just scribbling out nonsense that your bosses just look at and be like, what the fuck, I can't even read this. So. Okay. I think that's about it. Other thing I've noted too is I'm quite happy with the microphone. Need the same, still using it. It it's been working quite well. I mean, it makes a pretty good representation of my voice. I'd like it to be kind of closer to reality than being absolutely ridiculous, like some people do. And would you believe it or not? It's a dynamic microphone, a Blue Encore 100, I think. There is a AC window unit about five feet behind me over my left shoulder. 
It's the only place where I could have that AC unit in here. I have an actual AC, whole house AC unit, but it sucks. So just cooling down my one room is probably saving me more money in the long run. Especially since it gets quite hot in here because of the computer. I also have a beast of a computer at my feet. Not the beastliest, but it's quite a beast computer. And as far as I could tell, I listen back, I scrutinize my stuff quite a bit. I cannot pick it up. So, but it's something that you guys are like if you happen to be watching watching this and are thinking about looking for a microphone consider a dynamic microphone I mean if you think about it they are designed for I mean they're just they're not quite designed for but if you think about it, they have to be able to they're used by live performances performers you know it's like it's the microphones that are used when a band's on stage and that's got to be able to pick up the singer without picking up literally everything else. It's Or like overwhelming them. While there's like massive speakers behind them. Um, I do have Adobe Audition going. And it's, I, I don't think it's quite that much of isolation. I would like the output to be a little higher on the microphone side. So I do have Adobe Audition cleaning things up. And that's going quite well too, but there is a latency, so if you guys notice that and you happen to watch this, that is why there's a latency, so if I start whistling for whatever stupid reason like you should be not doing in a video in the first place, that would be why. It, it wouldn't match up with whatever is going on. Alright. I could probably ramble on for more. Um, another thing of note, I guess, is... I don't know if I really want to bring this up. It's... I didn't take it quite well. But one of my favorite Let's players has hung up hung up their coat and hat. And they have stopped doing Let's Plays. And it's upsetting. And they ended up doing a face reveal and everything. And it was... It quite hurt. And I guess it's fine. It, you'd be able to figure out one way or another. You could just go to my... Uh, who I'm subscribed to on the side of the channel, and you'd see that I'm just a uh, pump helmet punk at the top of my at the top of my list. Easily one of my favorites, probably followed by Grimith. And there's just a really a smorgasbord of people. I like Robbins; he's really funny, but he doesn't really do videos anymore. But those are like big YouTubers. Like Pump, I think was like a hidden gem in a way. And obviously inspired quite a bit of how I do videos. Especially with the music going and stuff. It's kind of a homage to them, in a way. Yeah, on that bum, uh, bum of a note. I guess that's it. Hopefully this wasn't too much a drag here at the end, but in just all together because, you know, I'm discussing a schedule. God, it's fucking weird. But hopefully they're excited and looking forward to the games. Like I said, Echelon Book 2 is coming back, Diablo 2 is coming back. It's going to be more D Dominions 5, which I like. I fucking love the game, but I'm just not good at fucking grand strategy stuff, and it's like I'm playing two now. I'm doing Total War Medieval 2. I'm doing Dominions 5. I gotta look at, like, units. See their stats and stuff. Remember their stats. And let me tell you, my ability to remember things and my thoughts just kind of, like, blank out every once in a while all of a sudden. Like this last past year. And it's kind of weird. It's just like, I'll be thinking and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, it's gone. I gotta be kind of, like, quick with my words and then I just think, uh, I kind of press through, like I'm doing now. I can kind of press through just pauses and stuff if I just keep going. Don't give my brain a second to lag and all of a sudden be like, what was I thinking? I think that's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I hope, uh, I hope this works out. So, that's about it. Y'all take care. This is a song about AM.